Yale University is an Ivy League institution widely regarded for being a hotspot for all the smart humans to congregate. Thankfully, not to be too OP, their football program isn't as highly regarded. They got moved down to the FCS in 1982 after a new average attendance rule from the NCAA for Division I FBS football programs. But there was a time in Division I FBS when Yale was dominating everyone. Well, it was back before sliced bread was invented and everyone wore these huge hats. I kind of liked them, but yeah, a long time ago. From 1874 to 1927, they won 18 national championships and still currently have the most national titles of any college football program. Today, they're being brought back to Division I FBS in hopes to restore their place as a top college football program. Unfortunately, it will be a tall task for the new head coach, Elon Hawking, who just got hired after the big news. We can only recruit the brightest young minds, so we're limited to only 15% of three and four star recruits. We also can't recruit those four star prospects to reach eight wins. And we won't ever be allowed to recruit any five star talent to our program. Finally, we'll start as a 60 overall team, so yeah, we'll easily be the worst team in the FBS. Coach Elon Hawking isn't worried. He has 200 IQ and is easily the smartest head coach in college football. He knows he can bring Yale back and win them in national title. Well, I guess the only thing we all have in common is we don't belong anywhere near Division 1 FBS roster. Also, maybe feel like some of you are Beethoven fans. I love Moonlight Sonata. Do not have a clue. Somehow, we've already won two games. I'm telling you, these coaches aren't ready for Coach Hawking. I mean, yeah, Ohio State, you have a bazillion five stars, I'd hope. We somehow beat an FCS school in Charlotte. Good job, guys. Here we go, playing Bowling Green at home. Not many fans of the stands, but that's all right. We have 12 people there at the very least. The pitch is easy. Come play for the modern day Mark Twain. No clue how we're winning. They drop back and uh oh, yeah, he's very slow. That's going to be a touchdown. Still tied up but we need someone to clutch up here no pressure guys no one's watching i promise the handoff to the left side we come down and miss the tackle good job tanner but he's falling oh well into the end zone that's lovely all right another chance to be clutch we got this we drift to the left side throw to the sideline yeah don't like that he got picked off oh fudge dream's dead well bright side is this football thing is a side hustle for these guys they don't seem to be too sad about the loss all right i'll take it coach you must have left a big impression hard for him not to really happy to have you all on board no idea man coach is a miracle worker it just can't be the players we'll take all the credit wow we really beat another fb school nevada must have been the intimidation factor they saw our players reading on the sideline it was game over after that a ton of graduates which is awesome you all just wanted to play to add to your resumes and we scrubbed together five wins which is just remarkable picking up two guys out of the portal from the same school that's cool we'll take them coach hockey's first signing class and i'll be honest i'm shocked by some of the quality we managed to land i mean we picked up travis glines emmanuel dixon and chris kidd three very good finds for us 95th class in the country feel like it should be a good foundation for us to try and build off of team still isn't good but that didn't seem to matter last year coach hawking is going to squeeze every ounce of potential out of this team. Cole Snyder's back at quarterback. He speaks 15 different languages and learned the violin at three years old. Just wish he was a prodigy at football. The future of the quarterback room is Jordan Benzinger. He just signed here. He's getting the red shirt. Can't wait to see what he blossoms into. Coach Elon just refuses to go winless here. I don't know what's happening, but I do not care. Two wins were an FCS school and SMU. They got munched down the last two weeks. Now we're home playing Boston College, and yep, coaches got kids coming in for the game. It would be a great time to pull off a shocking upset, guys. Definitely an odd score. Cole drops back in the pocket, finds me over the middle. Cameron Layborn, great play, touchdown. Time. They got the lead again. Not ideal. They hit it off. We knife through and great job. Nice tackle, Murdoch. Uh, don't like this at all. Hopefully one of our players went to Hogwarts and could cast some spell or something. They hand it off. Get to the outside. Come on, friends. We miss a tackle. Then we manage to bring him down after he gets a first down. This game's over. They're jumping around happy. They better not get too cocky. We have some future presidents on our roster. This makes much more sense. Went four and eight. Looks like our only two other wins were Hawaii and FCS Midwest. Only six kids are graduating. When one of you become a billionaire, don't forget about us. Gosh, dude, hey, when this happens, two really good recruits just aren't coming here maybe they're too smart for college like zuckerberg still was a really solid class for our second year really happy with what we've been able to haul tj ween is a stud from illinois really good get and also tristan messina and jalen motley love it coach hawking finding some smart kids who also happen to be good at football low ranking in our class but we found some gems we're happy with it making some huge strides the last two years the team has wildly improved still not where we need to be yet though cole is back for us at quarterback in his senior year he's been like a yoda to jordan and probably our best position on the team wide receivers with cameron Layborn. that's a fun way to spell cameron and also tj ween he's been a stud for us early on. Very happy he's here. Looks like we beat Akron and Charlotte to open up 2-0. Something is cooking in Connecticut. Woo! On the road playing the number two ranked Hurricanes. We have no fear. Let's shock the world. Yeah, it didn't happen. We got blasted by 30. It was not a good showing for us at all. They were happy post game, but we need to hurry and fly back. The players have a science project due tonight. 4-4 four four on track for six wins. That's nice. Beat Hawaii and Texas State. Every other game we lost, but we're much more competitive now, even though Navy soldered us last week. Recruiting has been phenomenal. Coach Hawking remembers everything every parent and recruit says. It's a real luxury to have on the trail. We're also in a battle with clubs over Kenneth Thornton. It'll go down to the wire, but we have faith he'll make the smart choice and come to Yale. Back home in our stadium that was built using the dirt from all our national titles. There's probably still some ghosts here too. That should help us out. Coach Elon made the players watch a beautiful mind pregame. They're all inspired. This is gonna be a dub. Down at the goal line, tied up. The man who speaks 15 languages says, it's right in Chetty. Wow, that's uh, French, maybe? Before half, still in a great spot. We hand out to the big man, Emmanuel. Oh yeah, way too easy. That's to a touch them, Bulldogs. Knew the movie would work. Up 20 late, and we're kicking up a field goal to get their buses warmed up for them. Oh, Rodney, the Frenchman balled out for us 
rest of the way and making the Chitty family tree proud. Let's go 7-5. That should be a bull berth, I'd imagine. We ended the season beating Georgia Southern and FCS Southeast. Neither game was close. Love to see it. Well, they said the mission was fulfilled. Lo and behold, we got shafted out of a bowl game. Coach Hawking is the last man you want to piss off, as well as 80 future Mark Twains. Pretty big graduating class. You guys got screwed out of a bowl game. Bright side is, I'm sure some of you are going to be lawyers. You can sue when the time feels right. Just another incredible haul for Coach Elon, top to bottom. Another good class that should strengthen this roster in a big way. Jabari Freeman was a big time pickup. He was able to walk out of the hospital after he was born. He could type 300 words per minute. Some think he's an alien, including me. And we managed to be clumsy for Kenneth Thorne. Take that, Dabo! Kenneth learned what cover two was at four years old. I'm sure it'll be great here for us. Another lowering class won't ever be that high till Coach Elon is allowed to take off his training wheels and go for four star kids. Getting some Justin Timberlake vibes from this roster, Coach Elon is bringing sexy back. This team is getting a lot better each and every year. Jordan is now our quarterback after being behind Yoda for the last couple seasons. His lifelong goal is to prove aliens are real. This whole football thing is just a cover for him. In the same backfield, we have Emmanuel Dixon, 6'4, 233 pounds, and he's a smart person. Someone hit the genetic jackpot. Not gonna name any names, but it starts with an E and ends with an L. 3 and 2, alright, not off, but we'll take it. Boston College gave us the corn dog, then we went on a three game winning streak before he lost to another Power 5 dweller, Rutgers. I don't know how he finds these kids. I, for one, am happy there are so many geniuses that play football. I mean, wow, yeah, off to a ridiculous start in the trail. Now we got Colorado State at home, and of course, kids are coming for the game. Coach Elon is Double Door's grandson. He has his ways. Here we go. This is happy to us. Up 10, and we have the ball. Beautiful spot to be in. Jordan drifts way back in the pocket. Finds an open man D. That's TJ Wheaton. Fast boy. Man, he's zooming. That's an easy touchdown. No clue they climb back to make it so scary. Just please recover this. Oh, yeah. Never in doubt. Think that's one of our linebackers on hands team. Good job, Zay. The team is running off the field with so much joy in the air. Doubt there's many parties tonight. We'll have Coach Elon take care of that. 7 and 2. Let's go. Success. Good job, young prodigies. We went three games in a row. I'm loving what's going on. There's a lot of happiness in the facility. Welcoming the Mormons to town. Great opportunity for us. Just treat this like the SATs. We'll be fine. Offensive but future. Come on, defense. Bail us out. They take the snap. This isn't good. Yeah, wide open touchdown. Balls. Getting slapped around like Chris Rock. Jordan's a pissed off peacock. He wants a touchdown here. Jordan sits the pocket. Course to the right side. Ah, boy. We got baited. This isn't going well. Holy. We storm back. Come on, Jordan. Time to clutch up. He drops back and throws it underneath to the manual. All right, dude. You just can't make this stuff up. A manual. Uh. You guys got lucky. Emmanuel has bricks for hands. Don't get too excited. Coach Elon has some connections to the CIA. He can make things happen. I swear, if we don't make a bowl game this time, we're headed to court. We'll bring the wrath of Yale. Beat Duke by one. They got destroyed the final week against California. That's depressing. Could have finessed us out of a bowl game this time. Playing USF in the Gasparilla Bowl. Cool name. Up four late in the game. Just need a first down to put this game away. We hand off to Emmanuel, and he shrugs up a defender and fights forward for a first down. He can do that, but he can't catch the ball. SMH my head. The players are celebrating. Let them enjoy the moment. Their professors are certified party poopers and allergic to fun. They don't get to experience these moments often. A lot more kids graduating this year. You all have bright futures. Get us to Mars. Create something faster than the speed of light. Make dogs immortal. I have faith you guys can make all three things happen. I mean, at this point, we can't be surprised. Coach Elon making things happen on the trail per usual. He's like Professor Charles Xavier out there. I mean, just a really huge class that we needed in a big way. Keel turns a 6'5 athlete from Arkansas. Can't wait for him to get on campus. Same with Mr. Bryant. That's gotta be a confusing first name to have, but he is 6'6", 247. Wouldn't want to make that man child mad. A top 50 class, but since we won nine games, the next cycle coach can expand his programming and go up to four-star recruits. Just like Cameron Diaz in the mask, I'm liking what I'm seeing. This roster every year is making great progress. Coach has been making them read football for dummies, but he replaced the to say geniuses. Can't hurt the morale. Jordan is back. Pretty sure his dad is Will from Goodwill Hunting. Everything is starting to add up. On defense, Jalen Motley was a gem we were ecstatic to land. He's been a stud here for us. He's good at football. Four-year outlook for our Bulldogs, and it's clearly an upward trajectory for us. People are going to be outraged once our team is shell and Cooper starts beating Bama. I can't wait for that. Well, that's anticlimactic. Three and three to start. Almost every game has been close, including our losses. We just need to improve our clutchness. Recruiting-wise, we're in dogfights for Devin Jordan. He's a dude. Three-star gem. Need him. And also, Mary Poppins. Six eight Javon Armstrong. We're in a battle for that four-star. Please, Coach Hawking. Work your magic. I need him. Looks like we're welcoming the Badgers to town. I don't think they're ready for the Bulldogs. In overtime, we're taking a field goal. Looks like they'll make it. We just need to get seven. No pressure, guys. We got this, Jordan. Stay calm and composed. He sits patiently in the pocket and throws the... Oh, my gosh. We blew it. We choke. Sad as ever in full effect. We handed you guys the game. Don't take any credit. You all did nothing. Gosh, I hate this. The cursed 6-6 six and six record. We're just asking for the NCAA to shaft us out of a bull game again. Finished 3-2. and two. Lost to Army and Iowa. Feel like we could have won those two, but oh well. You all regret this. Thank you for the opportunity. Playing a ranked team, too. This is exciting. We have no fear. Nothing to lose. So hand out to David Green. Man, he's a large specimen. He runs through the gap. He's a pissed off man. He fights in there for a touchdown. Great job, defense. We've been on that plan B. Jordan drops back and steps up and finds a man. It's Will Driscoll. That's a tight window. Great throw, Jordan. That was cool. Our tens of fans are pouring in the overrated chance. Love to hear it as we hand it off to our big boy at fullback. He had 10 protein shakes pregame. He won't be down his touchdown. There he is. Coach Elon Hawking getting lifted up. He'd take his shirt off, but he doesn't want to make the players jealous. He's always been a player's coach. Just six kids graduating. Can one of you please find who assassinated JFK? I think it was an inside job. I just need confirmation, guys. Just a bonkers recruiting class for 
Kochion. He loves watching film. He doesn't need to sleep like a normal human either. Starting to think he may be a cyborg. We managed to beat Mizzou head to head for Devin Jordan. He beat Magnus Carlson in chess. Kid's a future superstar. And we also reeled in the 6 8 behemoth from California. Some of these kids had to be made on a spaceship. It's not fair to everyone else like Tanner. Let him be a genius. Let him be a dog at football. He can't be both, man. We really got some dudes in this team. I mean, some big strides have been made. Really hope we can make some noise this year. That would be fun. Feels like yesterday Jordan was a young calf, eager to learn. Now he's all grown up and our best player. Such a special kid. Another kid I feel like we've watched blossom is the genetic lottery ticket himself, Emmanuel Dixon. Might as well call him Albert Einstein and Derrick Henry's body. Here we go, baby. 5 0 start. Sin is a top 10 team in the country. Haven't really beaten anyone impressive yet. No idea how we've risen to number 9 in the nation, but I won't complain. On the trail this cycle, of course you've been killing it. Now Coach Elon could sell to academics and athletics. He's basically Superman, but immune to kryptonite. Here we go. Time for a show and Coopers to make the entire world mad. This should be fun. It's the first drive in offense. We managed to get down to the goal line. Jordan's hurt, so that's sadness. Tyrell takes a snap and instantly throws it to Will Driscoll for a touchdown. Nice job, gang. Great start. Still got the lead with Tyrell at the helm. He's been a stud. He drops back, looking around and finds James Lynch in the end zone for another touchdown to get us a two score lead. We're spanking Nikki and his boys up 14. We keep it with Tyrell. He's got those cheetah legs. This game is over. The pickle boy played fantastic. Pickles get a bad rap, but I think they're yummy. Still on a roll. New Haven is out of control. The campus is on fire. Spanked all four teams after our Bama win. Love seeing all these W's. So pretty. Oh, yes. The battle of smart people whose IQ is superior. This should be fun. The spank against commence. Great job, guys. It's fourth down here. They have zero hope. Let's just put them out of their misery. They dump it to the left side and yet way short of the first down marker. Kiss this one goodbye. Everyone's at midfield having a blast. We just need some chess to make this day even better. B. James Madison, our final game to finish a perfect 12 0. I love life. Got the Longhorns of the semis. Time to show them how we get down to the Ivy League. Wow, really low scoring game, but we're in their territory looking to score. Jordan steps back and steps up and hits the open man in the slate. He's fast and determined. Let's go. Touchdown, Bulldogs. They drove down. Now they're at the goal line. Come on, defense. Their quarterback's in the pocket. He lost to the right side. Uh oh. Don't like that. Yeah, not good. Time for some vengeance here, defense. Just don't let them get the two point conversion. They hand it off and we come through the hole like Tanner at Dairy Queen and we make the tackle. Oh, yeah, that was cool. No funny business here, guys. Don't piss your pants. They kick it to the sideline. We recover. Woo, that's a relief. Will Hudson's son played great for us in the win. He had an injury, but he nursed it like a champ and has balled out since. Of course, Georgia baby Michigan. It's our time to show them who's the superior bulldog. Yikes, don't like this one bit. We hand out to Drill Busby and he can easily run in there for a touchdown. Thank goodness. Really needed that. Isn't looking good. We need to stop in the worst way. They run this counter thing and get to the outside. No one is out there. This is a good. Yeah, he's going to get a first down. No one's in sight. It's over, man. We're walking away shame and disgust. So sad, man. As we watch Georgia win another natty. Goodbye, my little hummingbirds. You're out to the NFL. Go make the league smarter. Dominate the one they're like test. Great haul for Coach Elon of the Bulldogs to cycle. Kids see the vision. Some are scared of the hard classes of mean professors, but you guys have no fear. Aaron Lomax, sweet last name. He's a four star stud from Cali. And Shyler Brewer is also coming. 83 overall center. Two big time additions to the team. First top 25 class for us. Coach Hawking isn't going anywhere. He saw the natty. Now nothing will stop him from getting one for himself. The offense is taking a little bit of a hit, but the defense is making up for it this year. The team's been in the facility all offseason. Coach has been doing their homework for him. The Dill Pickle is our new quarterback. Super excited about him. He's a dull threat kid. He's waited his turn. Can't wait for him. On the other side, Kenneth Thornton is now a senior and he's our best player. He somehow has 81 speed and 99 excel. I'll leave that to the sports science guy to figure out. Well, uh, we lost to someone. Who's the jerk? Kansas State. Was hoping to be someone more scary, but oh well. Every year, recruiting is only improving. Kids are lining up to come play here for Coach Hawking. He just has an aura, like Brick Tamlin. Well, here's an opportunity. You play an army and they're ranked number three. The players have been studying the triple option all week, day and night. We're confident. Yep, in a great spot here. The dill pickle is hurt. Man, that's depression. We drop back, sit patiently, and found a made open demons are tight end dot trail. Get him behind the defense. Is he fast enough? Oh, yes, he is. He just wants it more. Touchdown, Yale. This one's over, but we love to pile on. Albert keeps it, and that's just too easy for us. Albert is jumping around, having fun. We smacked army with our backup. They never had a chance once our players studied the triple option. What a sight. Number one in the country and finishing 11 1. So we definitely won out then. Yeah, that's math. Yep, five game winning streak for us after our win over Army. The team's been on a tear since the loss of the Wildcats. Play Notre Dame in the semis, another smart school, but we're superior. Well, it looks like we're down and they make a field goal to extend the lead to six. We drove in the field. They're in goal. Come on, Dill Pickle. We need you. He drifts back in the pocket, finds him over the middle. James Lynch, let's go. Needed that. Well, they got in the field goal range and they're immune to the ice thingy, so let's hope for the best. And did it go in? Oh, it did. Don't like that. We need a miracle here, Dill Pickle. Come on, Tyrell. He lost it deep downfield. It's in the air. Something could happen. The ball bounces around and falls. Oh, man. Well, I get out of the field in bitter disappointment. The only thing that is close to this feeling is when Michigan had trouble with the snap. Man, he was someone we were so happy to land. You'll be Miss Shiler. Convince Tiberius and Mister to come back. That's big time for us. Got three guys going out to the NFL. Got a little pipeline going. Should definitely help recruiting. And a few guys graduating. You're all smart people. You'll do great things. Another big haul for Coach Elon. He's only improving. He's been ultra focused this offseason, trying to get his natty. A kid like Tyler Bag should help out. Same with Gash. Azim Zunagura. Definitely got that run. But he's 6'5 as a receiver. Very happy with him. Top 10 class for the 
Bulldogs, 11 four stars, couldn't be happier. Yeah, no, that's a lie. I need a natty stat. It's our best team yet. We keep choking in the CFP. Coach had all the players study the last dance. Hopefully that helps. Dill Pickle is back for us at quarterback. Everyone loves him. He sings in the shower to Whitney Houston, but let's be honest, who hasn't done that? On defense, we have a giraffe at safety, but he can run like a gazelle, so yeah, a giraffe. Don't know how I feel about that. Undefeated start, but that's the expectation. It had to happen. Always love seeing this. No close games at all. Just whooping after whooping. Handing them out like John Wick. Love to see it. Love these games. Another SEC school coming into the town. Finally got fans of the stands. Can't wait. Down to the red zone. Looking to score first. The Dill Pickle is confident. He drops it, sits, and finds a receiver. It's Steven Starks in the end zone for a touchdown. They're having a hard time hanging with us. Tyrell's playing great. Everything's going well. So he finds another open wide receiver. It couldn't get any easier than that for Steven. Well, the Tigers are showing some life. Good for them. We couldn't care less. We hand it off and yeah. Just way too easy for Evan Long. Put this one in the wing column. We're galloping off the field like kids at Chuck E. Cheese. Winning makes everything awesome. Could have taken that to Vegas. Hope none of our players said that. I doubt they did. They play chess, not checkers. I mean, just not a single close game. Really think that one last dance documentary got these kids in the right headspace? That's what a goat can do. A choose for revenge against the leprechauns. We're coming for blood. Third and goal at the one. Really need to punch this in. Tyrell gives the drill. That rhymes, I think. Who cares? Touchdown, Bulldogs. Well, we're trailing now. Down seven, but we got a shot to tie it before half. Dill Pickle says patiently. And Rouse to James Lynch, who burst up with speed. He was a touchdown he's gonna find us a touchdown got our lead back we don't want to do anything dumb just keep it with the pickle boy and trust him yep that worked to perfection the first trophy for coach hocking is living up with all his fellow geniuses man all that brain power in one space just unlimited possibilities some new blood in the playoff an old foe the mormons time for us to get over the hump so start not ideal for us but we got time tyrell takes it throws immediately to craig thomas in the end zone to finally get us on the scoreboard got our first lead in the fourth quarter a touchdown on this drive and we could be flirting with a natty do pickle runs out to his right since the launches deep downfield to an open man a great throw to devon Mark him. No one's going to catch him. Touchdown, Bulldogs. The Mormons won't go away. They're trying to score. The quarterback looks around and throws it to I right, dude. Gotta pretend that makes any sense. Just recover the onside here. No funny business, guys. Oh, yeah. Brewer Stanton recovers it. Thank you, soldier. They have two timeouts. Just gotta get a first down and then party time can commence. We hand it off to Drell. He takes it to the left side. Brushing off a blocker. He's determined. He won't be denied a first down. He end this game once and for all. Finally, after being denied multiple times, we get to behold the sight of Coach Elon Hawking hoisting up a natty. I think the most surprising thing that happened was that first season. That'll leave alien civilizations confused for centuries to come. If you want to find out if Tanner can revive a dead college football program, cut the video on the screen. I think you'll love it.